All right, welcome everyone. This is a Viper Professional Trading and Support webinar. Today's date is February 24th, 2020. This is a, a Monday night webinar, and the title of tonight's webinar is Open of the Market and How to Trade It. And as everyone knows that's been to our webinars or our live trading room, everything that we say and do at Viper Trading Systems is for educational purposes only. Futures trading, Forex trading, any kind of financial instruments trading involves risk. Therefore, there's always risk of loss. You should only trade discretionary capital, and that is money that you can afford to lose. Nothing said in this webinar. Other webinars we have, our live trading room or anything else with Viper Trading Systems, should never be construed as trading or investment advice. And as always, everyone does trade at their own sole discretion. Any questions on the disclaimer? All right, if not, we're going to get go ahead and get started here. By the way, just real quick, I'm going to go ahead and go to our member login. Anybody that's a member, of course, you have your member login. I'm going to go to my member login. As long as Linda hadn't turned mine off. Let's see. It looks like I'm still good. All right. And I'll be up in just a second. I'll show you something. For uh, new people, just to give you an idea of what you really want to start studying and everything, because I think it's extremely important to, to get ahead of the game, so to speak, and really, you know, get something, you know, where you can learn how to use uh, the tools and everything. And if a person doesn't want to actually use Object Trader right off the bat, you know, feel free not to because, you know, a Chart Trader, a dome, you know, if you're used to a dome, it doesn't matter. You know, you can do whatever you want. Well, for some reason, I'm not able to log in my own deal. Just a second. See if I can get it. There we go. All right. Let me go to the members area and we'll get in here. Bear with it just a second. For some reason, the site's kind of slow right now. All right. Now, once you get into the member login area, be sure if you're going to use Object Trader, scroll down here and be sure and just watch every single video that you want to know how to use Object Trader. You know, if you want to learn how to box in trades, you know, simply go click this, go to the ebook. This goes through how to set it up through parameters and settings. It goes through how to use the L E S C and R E buttons on it. It goes through even auto trading and using the mid band type and then your object types. And if you want to learn how to do a region trade or what we call a box in trade, lots of videos on it. Okay, how to use it, how to size it, how to add on, just all kinds of things on here. Okay, once a person gets under their belt, if they're using object trader, be sure and watch these videos right here. These are webinars that we've chosen to make. Uh, our members have said, hey, these are really good webinars, really shows how to trade your system. So we made them part of the training. Four trade setups to memorize. Uh, identified swings are super important. Uh, Viper indicators A to Z. Uh, look left to trade the right. Train your mind to see the trade and phantom trades. And uh, you know, I was uh, listening to the webinar on Saturday, and I did notice that, but, you know, Charles is not a fan, as far as that goes, of phantom trades. I mean, he's a dyed-in-the-wool mid-band trade, and I understand that. That's fine. But, you know, if you, you know, you don't take every phantom trade. This video will walk you through how to take the trades. And you may miss some, but if you study this video right here, you'll see the ones you don't want to take, and you'll take the ones that as a rule, work out pretty decently. But, you know, not every phantom trade is a phantom trade. It can be a trend change. Okay, but this video, about 19 minutes, shows you how to do it. Okay, and then, of course, learning all about our indicators and object trader, these red webinars. And then, of course, we've got our regular webinars. And I do need to get Charles's webinar up from Saturday. I'll, I'll do that tonight when I put mine up on the site because I don't have his from Saturday up. Okay. So enough of that. That's about three minutes of the webinar. All right, let's go ahead and go to a chart. Now, this webinar is going to be mainly about trading the open. But what I want to do also first is because I like to get up around 615, 630 right in that area, sometimes even five depends on, you know, when I decide to. And I just want everybody to first before we go to the regular open, which I'm going to show how to trade that. I want everybody to see you know, how to tell what direction the trade is going, okay? And I think you can clearly see by drawing on your chart, we'll just draw lightning two, 
from here, and you can pretty much tell it's heading down, right? I mean, it's it's really almost a no-brainer that from this point to this point to breaking and even breaking through here, that this was actually heading down, okay? And if you draw on your charts, you can clearly see it. Why is that not drawing? All right, there we go. All right, and when we talk about waiting for a trade to retrace, we're talking about it breaking and retracing right into the line that you draw and then rolling over. So with that in mind, where's the next trade, Viper Traders? If you were looking at this chart, where is the next trade on this chart? Anybody? Sure. Okay, it wouldn't be as high as here, right? Because if it took this out, you would no longer be heading down, right? But what about this area right here? I would draw two lines on this chart. I would draw it here on the Lightning 3, and I would draw it right underneath here. And that's pretty much the same area. Let's just stretch it out a little bit. All right. And if that was to come up into that area, what would you do? Go long or would you short it? You'd short it. Okay. Because the overall right now is thrust, retrace thrust. That's definitely a downtrend. Okay. Now, if you look at the actual chart, you'll probably see it to begin with, but let's let's look at the actual chart. But what I mainly want, to, want everybody to see right off the bat, first thing, is that when you look at a chart, you should be able to tell where it's going to retrace to, okay? We are support and resistance traders, and we trade retrace trades, okay? And if you figure out on your charts where to see those trades, you're going to trade just like we teach in that room all the time. Now, what would it take at this moment to change trends on this chart? Anybody? Well, to me, this has done a high, a low, but it's not actually taken out this swing. So therefore, it's not any kind of a long trend, even on the shorter term. So, you know, if I was looking at this, I'd probably think that right about through here is what it would take to change trends if it was to decide to. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Maz and several people got that. 3262, right in that area. There you go. Okay, so let's let's see if, for instance, this does actually give us a trade in that area. And then I'm going to purposely go to uh, the open of the market so we can talk about trading the open of the market. But regardless what time you get to your computer, you know, you've got to diagnose your charts and you got to see what's going on. Now, I just diagnosed this without prices on the chart based on swings. And that's what I've trained my mind to see on the charts that actually have the colors and everything. Okay, this is that chart. Okay, now let's draw it again. Let's just draw. Okay. So we said here. So let's draw a line. And we said here, right? So that's a little sweet spot for me. So if it was to come up, not take this out and roll over, that would be a good trade. Now, what if it takes this out? Then it's no longer heading down. And then I would wait. Let me show you how I would trade this. There's two ways to trade this. First off, if it's going to break here, let's change the color of this real quick. If it was to break here, I would expect for it to do like I expect all trades to do, and that is to thrust and retrace. All right, so here's your trade set up right here. It either breaks, all right, comes back and kisses. We're going to do uh, blue for long for right now. All right, this is what I'd expect. If it breaks that. And then I would expect it to head up. Now, if it hits its head before this, we can't take this out, right? We've already said in our, our mind, we can't take this out. But we can check these areas for rollovers, like a phantom, to give an example. All right. So I would expect it to do this if it was going to go ahead and break down. And we're going to do something like this, except it's going to be red. Let's do it in a real... Uh, bright like uh, we'll do um, let's do maroon that way you can see it nice and easy 
And that's the trade setup right there. Okay. High ABC, right? Swing. Double bottom, so to speak, because it's getting even a higher low. But it's got to take this out to head up. If it kisses this area and rolls through it, we're, we're going to go ahead and box this like so. And we're not going to take a long unless it actually takes out what we consider to be lightning three or this swing. Now, we don't have a lightning three down here yet, so I'm not looking for longs until we do. If it was to dink around here for 30 minutes or so and give me a dot here, I'd probably take a breakout. But it would have to have that, that lightning three. Or if you do take it, you're going to have to actually, uh, you know, for instance, if you box this in like right here and you said, you know what, this may go up to phantom. Maybe I can get 10 ticks. Okay, you could box it, but if I did that, I would literally box it right here, like so. And I wouldn't be looking to short it yet because it hadn't come up to resistance, but I might be looking to go long to see if I could get up to Phantom. Okay, but we're not going to do that tonight. I'm going to, we're going to go a little bit more conservative and just show you, you know, how you would really look at this chart to trade it. Okay, so let's see. We're not going to even put Object Trader on it. Let's just see what it does. I'll fast forward a little bit. Okay, now would that have been a good area to have shorted that? It did exactly what we said it would. See there? So if you would have shorted this right across here, would that have been a decent trade? Yeah. Yeah, we, we had it diagnosed on our chart already. Now, if you were to take Object Trader now, this is a little late because we've already diagnosed and it's already broken our box. But let's just say if you were to take this now, you'd want to short it right away and you would have to put your stop above the swing. And that's risking 12 ticks. Okay. Now, I would have taken the trade if it broke the box. So you'd be in better in this area instead. Okay. But let's just leave it there and just see if it does anything. Okay. Because we did break out of the box. So sometimes you'll miss getting in the actual box you might have even missed the trend line if you drew a trend line you can clearly see a trend line's right underneath there right so it's breaking it right there on that bar okay everybody see that let's see do you strive to make a box six ticks higher somewhere around that well what i strive to do is just like i showed boxes are dependent on what's going on in the chart you know we diagnosed this chart it was heading down. It had a high, same low, high, broke it. So this is your identified swing right here, okay, on the left side of the chart. So it would take breaking up, pulling back, and taking off to change trends, okay? Now, so what we did is we boxed it based on this resistance right here, and I always like to look to the left to trade the right and see where they haven't checked yet. And if they were to check here, which is right across there at that swing. See, that's pretty much close to where they checked. But, you know, all we cared about, though, was that they didn't take out this swing. Because if they took this swing out, they weren't heading down. Okay? So, see, we've got a trade that's, woo, $25. Okay? Now, if you were happen to see this happening in real time, you said, you know what, if that bar closes down, I might add one. Let's see if it does. It's testing resistance, isn't it? little swing to the left. I'll take it if it does. And by the way, you can just turn on bar close to do that. Okay. Kind of hard to make real good money with one contract because we don't know for sure if it's going to take us out and cost us some money yet, do we? But with two, then I'm going to be cautious because it's checking resistance over here to the left. Everybody sees that, right? So there, there we go. We got two. All right. And I would actually put my stop more than likely. Let's look to the left. There's a swing. It's already broken that. I probably wouldn't let it go above that swing right there just in case. And we could put exit on close. We might lose a little bit. It depends on what it does. OK, but looking to the left to trade the right, that's resistance. And it should just kiss it if it does go back and roll over again. OK. Now, with this in mind, let's look at 
the open of the market on ES. Okay. Now keep in mind at the open of the market, you're really looking mostly for these little uh, swing breaks and things, and they don't have to be uh, lightning two or pardon me, lightning three. But see, this was lightning two, so if it would have broken lightning two, it would have headed up. It didn't break lightning two, so it gave a lower high, and guess what? It's heading down. Okay, and and you can get really good at these type of swings if you just train your mind to see this. Okay, I'd probably put one to try to get right down there. All right. Now, looking at that chart that we had just a minute ago, look how that did right in that little box that we drew. It came up above it a little bit. Could you have boxed it? Would you have been short on it? Look, it's probably kissed there. See that? Is this going to head down? Let's go ahead and draw lightning one. It probably already has. Yeah, not much. Let's draw it right here instead. There we go. Let's see what it does. We'll fast forward a little bit and just see what it does. Let's let's see if it holds that. Look at that. Kissed it exactly. Kiss there. See it? Kiss there. See how it's doing? As you draw it? Okay, where will it kiss next time? Can we see that? I'm drawing this ahead of time so you can see it. Is that cool or what? ABC, what if it takes this out right through here? Will that be heading up or down? So I kissed it. Yeah, it, exactly. It would be heading up, wouldn't it? Now, where will it be heading up if it breaks? Right across here. Still heading down, though. Now, right across here. And there's your 830 right there. Now, let me ask a quick question on this. If you had shorted this way up here where we drew this way early, what kind of trade could that have been by 830 in the morning? But we talked about this live in the room this morning. What would it take to change trends on this chart? Now, to really change trends on this chart, it would take breaking here. Okay. What, what I'm looking at right now, you got a lightning three right here. Okay. But you have lightning two, high, low, lower, high, lower, low. That's an ABC. They're, they're starting to break it. See there? You want to box it and just see if it gives you a decent trade? We'll, we'll box it. This is what we call trading at the open. And by the way, th the reason that this trade was taken at the open this morning was not because, you know, well, on this side of the chart, it wasn't heading down any longer, was it? It was breaking that resistance area right there. And so could you box this trade to actually take it to the long side if it breaks the top of that box? And watch and see what actually happened. See there? So when did this change trends? Anybody? Well, it for sure did when it broke lightning three. No question about that. And you could have bought it right there, by the way. We called that in the room this morning. Okay. But when did it really change trends as far as like we teach, you know, where, where your left side of the chart is no longer heading down when it took out that swing? See it right there? This is when they'll oscillate around those swings. I like to actually take them the second time they break it. So, for instance, if they broke it like right through here, I would put a box. And granted, that probably faked you in that trade. Maybe. I don't know if that actually closed or not. But your stop would have been right there to begin with if it broke down. 
Let's see, Maz is asking a question. Uh, uh, do you think sometimes trading one contract makes you a better trader so you become really keen on your swings? Well, you know, the amount of contracts and everything is, is kind of up to the individual what they want to trade. You know, um, I would personally, you know, as far as my trading and everything, I personally like to trade, you know, only one when I'm really not so sure of where it's going to go. Okay. Where, where would you put your stop on this, by the way? Could you put it right there? It may head up some more. We'll find out. And you could put your stop right here, right? Because that's your that's your swing for your ABC, right? And this is your swing for your B part. And, and if it does head up, you're getting higher lows. You're okay with that stop. Okay, let's see if it goes up higher. Now, let me ask a quick question. If, if you're a trader that sees this kind of trading on a chart, even though this background, I can obviously absolutely tell you it's green and you got blue bars. I, I just know it is because you can see it. Okay, but if this decided, for instance, to break this swing or this swing, Okay, just like we did over here, could you go short? Anybody? Well, you could, but anytime you go against the trend, be careful with it. Okay, because obviously this morning when we went long on this trade, and this was this was seriously called in the room this morning, but why was it called in the room this morning? Because it was breaking out of this area right here, which was your high, your low, lower high, little lower low, definitely you're part of your ABC. Everybody see that? So when this starts oscillating around this area and you get ready to, to box it in, you know, if you don't trust it, you know, then go with uh, like one until it actually breaks up. But you can put your stop just under there with one. Now, when it starts really breaking up and even takes that, takes out this swing or this one over here on the left, see it right here? then go ahead and box it again and add one if you wanted to, you know, or watch the predictors and you might even see, uh, let's see, is this, that's a pretty good one right there. See, it came right on top of that predictor, really, really close anyway. That was like three minutes after we opened the market. That's another decent one right there. And I'll bet that's a, uh, uh, boy, minimum criteria trade more than likely. Okay, look at that though. See, if you would have shorted that based on a lightning two and you put your stop above the swing to the left or even this one, I don't think I'd go that high. I trust that one. And could you actually get 10 ticks a lot of times by simply breaking a trend? Okay, but now let me ask you a question real quick. Where is the lightning three swing on it that will really tell it if it's going to break down? Okay, uh, uh, Maz, I'm only showing this because basically we called this trade on ES and it was an opening trade. And I want to show people how to trade it, uh, but it's up to the individual what they want to trade. Okay, let's get rid of predictor. Now, looking at this chart right this very second, if you got up and let's say this was six o'clock in the morning instead of 830 in the morning. Okay, does everybody see that you've got an uptrend, but you are breaking? OK, but if you look to the left to trade the right, if you didn't short it way up here. When it broke lightning two, then this is still an uptrend until it breaks this. Always remember, even on that that trade from earlier. OK. When it broke this lightning three swing, that's when it really changed trends. Everybody see that. OK, that's when it really changed trends. But looking at lightning two, it really changed trends right across here. See it? It's right across that area right there. All right. That's when you got to understand, you know, are you just getting a retrace and you won't take out that high? So when you go long here, if this would have hit its head short of this, let's say that it would have instead just come up and kissed this area right here and rolled. 
well, then that would have still been a continuation short, right? Okay, but when it takes out that swing over here and it takes out the swing here even, this is actually changing trends. Okay, everybody see that? Let's see, is it best to use lightning two or three to take trades? Well, uh, Taffeta, on your question, I would say that until you're really good at seeing it and, and also able to really get out quickly if you're wrong, I would probably use the lightning three. Because to give an example on this chart right here, you're not really going short until they take that line out right there. Okay, so therefore, if you're not really into this kind of trading where they just break like a trend line or, or start, you know, like double topping and take out a swing, then you want to really be ready instead to take this trade right here. And this is probably more than likely a phantom trade and you don't want to take that swing out because when you're looking at a, a low, a high, a higher low and a higher high, what do you want if you're going to continue up? You want a higher low, right? So I would not want to just buy this trade if it kissed support here because I would think it would be starting to try to break down instead. But if I came into like a phantom to give an example, and by the way, I called this trade on ES this morning on uh, this phantom trade. You want to see it? We called this trade when it just kissed and it kissed right on top of a swing that it had not checked. OK, when when they come down and see they're checking support here and they're also going to check support one more level down and see they did that. And then you can look again and say, OK, well, they got one more level right here and that's where they checked. Okay, always look at these swings on the left. And this little bounce right here was not a trend change. Now, what would it take to trend change? Anybody? You would have to break like lightning three. Let's see if we can get something like that. Let's go ahead and mark our chart and see if we get something like that. All right. So right now on this chart, you have lightning three right down here. All right. We don't know if it's going to hit its head here or if it's going to go up higher. Right. So let's see if we can figure out when it actually breaks lightning three. If it does. Okay, we know that if it breaks this, we're going to be looking for a thrust, retrace, and a roll. Okay, if we get another lightning three, we'll be looking at it instead. I'll go 500 times just so you can see it. See, that was a good trade, by the way. Okay, when did it break what we call micro? Anybody? When it broke that right through there. You got to be pretty gutsy to short those. That was a good mid-band trade. We called that also. Okay, now you got lightning three here, bounced off of it, another 10 tick trade. Okay, now your lightning three is right here, bounced off of it again. You could box it, see if you can get another 10 ticks. Just kiss, there's 10 ticks. Lightning three is still right here. Now, okay, right now, lightning three is right here, right? So do we have some long trades that we could still go for if it comes down and kisses? Let's just draw a couple of lines and see if we can. We'll draw it like that. Right there, and we got our line right here. And we'll see if we can get down in this area for any kind of a long bounce. We may not. We'll see. It may just head up. Let me go a little faster. There it is. There it is. Came right down to support. Could you buy that right there? Yes. Now, the way they're going sideways on this and everything, if they break this support right here, okay, could you take a short trade even without it thrust and retrace? Yes. Okay, but keep in mind that the thrust and retrace is safer 
But what you can do if, you know, if you see these charts like this and you've got this big old range now, like that right there, if they start, you can simply buy support, get 10 ticks, buy support, get 10 ticks, you know, buy support, swings, get 10, 20, whatever ticks, okay? But at least go for like 10 if you can draw on your charts correctly. All right, let's 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 see what we get here. Okay, that was another trade, right? Breaking lightning too, I would imagine anyway. Yeah. Kissed. Now, if you're a gutsy type and you want to try to get those trades like that, you can because that double top there. We won't call those in the room, though, simply because the background and everything is green and it confuses people too much. Now, if this breaks, like right there, for instance, I would probably short that. See how it broke it? And I'd put a really tight stop on it. That's like a three tick stop. Why did I take that? Because it broke support. Okay. Now, what if you're, okay, now, what if this trade doesn't retrace at all? Because given the coronavirus and all that kind of stuff that was going on, they don't have to. Okay. So you can take even a breakout trade. Now, this was right at, um, Matter of fact, we called this trade. Remember in the room this morning? We said if it breaks 50, that you weren't heading up any longer. Anybody remember that? Yeah, 50. So this turned out to be a decent trade. By the way, I'd go to break even. Actually, I'd go right tick or so above that line. If they take me, they take me. And I would more than likely... If bar closed down, I'd probably take another one. I'd like it to go up here and test, but they don't always. You know, sometimes they'll just roll and you can turn on bar close and see if you can get it. Let's see, was your answer right uh, to earlier question? Uh, just one second. Let me see if I can figure out what was said. Uh, oh, I did answer that about one contract. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just literally up to the individual on that. Okay. We're not here to say, you know, there's traders that'll take 300 contracts here. You know, I'm not one of those. I, I think markets move around too fast. And even ES, now it's one of the slower ones, obviously. But still, let's see if we can get another one. If it goes up, I'd I'd rather it go up and then turn this on. But let's just try it. Uh, your dollar amount was right to your earlier question. Uh, oh, 25 bucks going to Disney. Yeah, I guess you could get a ticket at, well, you can't even get that at Disney, isn't it? Like 60 bucks for one ticket? Probably, right? Okay, let's see, now that we've taken this trade, if everybody can figure out how to get out of this trade. And let's do it on the other chart just for the fun of it. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of lightning two and I'm gonna get rid of lightning three. Whoop, lightning three. All right, and let's draw lightning one. All right, so we're in the trade, right? Stops right there. See if it takes it. Stops right there. Stops right there. Stops right there. Stops right there, ABC. That one may get us. Now that's stair-stepping, I'd kill it. So let's go back to our chart and kill it if it goes above that. Nope, we're still okay. Now I'm going pretty fast. Out. See why? Now look at your other chart and tell me that you probably wouldn't take that also. So we have... Let's go to lightning two so we can see it even a little bit better. 
It may get you out a little bit later, but let's do it anyway. Let's see what it does. All right, let's go with uh, Lightning 2. All right, so you had a high, low, lower, high. Didn't get a lower low till it took this out, right? So once it took this out, this was your new lower high, right? And then they take this out, so this is your new lower high. And then they take this out, and this is your new lower high, but this is also more of a secondary one. Right? Let's go ahead and change that to white. And there you go. Pretty cool way to trade. Let's see, ask a question of what dollar amount would change trend. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, the, yeah, you got you got it right on the dollar amount to change trend. Because here's the thing on this. Uh, if you're trading, a matter of fact, that broke trend already, didn't it? So could you box that in at mid-band and take a trade? Anybody? Sure you could. Could you have actually taken a trade based on like that trend line right through there? Like something like this. Could you have taken a trade when it broke that trend line and boxed it in? Probably so, but I would wait till it broke that swing because that's your identified swing and it broke it right there. So let's see what this actually equals if you would have boxed that in of going long because it took out lightning. Let's look at it. Now, does everybody see how to trade this open? You know, don't, you know, the one thing that I learned from, from Charles, and I've been teaching webinars, when we first opened 10 years ago, Charles taught all the webinars. I didn't teach webinars. I used to just handle support only. And to this day, I still handle support. But anyway, uh, I, I've done webinars now for, you know, about nine of the years that, that we've been doing it. Look at that. Could that have actually been a long trade? A scary long trade, but what if it, when it takes out Lightning 3? Let's see if it takes out Lightning 3. Don't do it on the first time. Do it on the second time. Let's see if we can get a 10-tick trade just for the fun of it. If it closes that bar, I'll take one. Just for the fun of it. We'll just try to get 10 ticks. Just try strictly to get 10 ticks. We don't care if it gets 100. We're just going to see if this uh, method that I'm teaching here tonight works. And we're late, by the way. But we could have get, gotten this on trend line break, or maybe when it broke this swing, that's lightning two, and then lightning three is right here. Okay, still didn't get a trade. Let's see if we get one. Just curious if we could get 10. There's, there's our trade. All right, let's put our stop in right there. Higher low, we're okay. Bring it up a little bit. I don't like to give them a bunch of money just in case we're wrong on this, but it did break lightning three. And that looks like we're going to get 10 ticks. Everybody see that? Now, 10 ticks, by the way, on ES is, uh, you know, not a bad little trade. That's $125. So that added to your P&L. Okay. Now, has this changed trends, anybody? It actually has, hasn't it? So we're looking for a retrace trade, aren't we? So let's see if we weren't in a trade at all. We got a green background. We don't have a mid band just yet. Let's see if we can get a mid band that's green just for the fun of it. Okay, we got a green mid band. Now let's draw on our chart and see if we can get in this puppy just where we need to. So we're going to draw on our chart. Come on, draw, silly ninja. All right, there. We can't take this out right here, right, everyone? Can't take that out. Well, you could a little, but let's let's don't let it take it out by a lot. So there's your swing right there on the left. Let's see if we can get a trade anywhere around mid band for a bounce or down in this area right here, one or the other. Okay, there's support. Thrust retrace. So you've got an A B C type move, right? There's your little swing. 
and we're going to take one of these trades if if it doesn't just take it down, which we'll know here in a minute if it's going to take it down. Okay, box it in. Box it right there. No trade, right? No trade yet. Let's see if we can get 10 ticks, 12 ticks. Nice tight stop. And see, we diagnosed this chart in real time. Now, by the way, we were closed here, so I didn't even see ES at this point. You know, we, we had already closed the room. Now, that didn't get 10 ticks, uh, 12 ticks. I'd be nervous on it, but let's see if we can get 12 ticks. Didn't get our 12 ticks. Let's see if we get a higher low then. We still got our stop in. We haven't gotten a trade. Our trade is not stopped out yet. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my stop right under here now. There we got our 12 ticks. Okay. We did get it. Okay. So just think of that. If you get good enough at seeing those trades in real time, you draw on your charts, then's when you can actually do a few extra contracts, right? You can absolutely do a few extra contracts. You want to see if we can figure out where it's going again? Well, if we don't take out this high, we could be topping out, right? All right, so let's see where it could go. We're going to try to see if we can figure this out. Got a swing right here. You can't take out and still head up. Everybody sees that, right? You got support right across here where my line's drawn. So I'm going to draw a box. Got to get to mid band first. There we go. There's our box. Yeah, I'm a little bit late, but I should have gotten it right in my line. See my see how I drew that ahead of time. So what they do is they check support. If they break micro, they'll go down and check medium. That's what they did. And we got another ten. 10, 12 ticks, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. That's going to get us. We almost got it. Yep, stopped out. That's no big deal, right? Now, when is this change in trends? Anybody? Well, again, what if it breaks that swing right there? We could see if we could get it. You want to try it? We missed that one just now on a long. Let's see if it'll break. It's getting lower highs. short below swing and let's see if we can get 10 ticks and there's 10 ticks again okay now keep in mind that I'm not going for runners just to show you how you can see on these charts you know we missed this trade and I had the line drawn clearly you could have gotten 20 ticks on that trade by the way but I've got it running it to be fair about it at 100 times so it's kind of hard to get it quickly but I have to slow it down okay but is this a trend change, anybody? It's absolutely a trend change, isn't it? So let's say that you weren't in this trade. Draw your lines on your chart, okay? I'm going to draw my lines on my chart. All right, so we had a breakdown right here below 40 and a quarter, right? So if it gets back there at any time, could that be another trade? Let's see if it does it. I don't know if it did, but. Still heading down, but it hadn't checked that. Now, if it breaks this right here, you could probably take a quick long on it, by the way. Let's see if it'll work for 12. I'm in it. Got it. Look where it just kissed. Phantom trade, isn't it? If that bar rolls over, I'm going to take it. And do one. All right, and we're going to put our stop just above the swing. Everybody see that? How you can draw on your charts and, and see these trades? This is exactly how we draw in that room every single day with like clockwork. Now, will a person catch this right off the bat? 
I, I've had traders that were with us for a year, two years, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, I see these. It, it was like an epiphany for me too when I first started seeing it. And to be truthful about the matter, I was actually pretty young at Viper. You know, Charles and I, when we met, I was actually uh, working, you know, mostly like retail. I was working at Lowe's and I also worked at Sears. I was selling appliances, but I had an appliance store for 25 years. So I was a pretty good appliance salesman and I traded on kind of on the side. And I met Charles through a another vendor that was actually, uh, you know, kind of hawking some uh indicators and stuff like that and he was teaching webinars and one of the things that hit me like a ton of bricks was one time I was watching one of his webinars and I started really seeing these swings the way he was seeing them and since then we've actually developed lightning so you can see them you know because because for me to develop lightning you know I had to be able to see the swings right so you know when we developed lightning that was because we were already seeing these swings okay and we see you know for instance where, where are they going on this trade well they should at least go down to this low right now our stop i would probably put right above here right now that's my swing okay now if i was in three i'd probably cover one if that bar even tried to close up that way we're not risking a bunch of our money let's see what determines if the phantom short will work sometimes i get bushwhacked uh, well, the thing is, on that question, I like to look for confirmation on your phantoms as much as possible. We drew right on the chart where it should hit its head. That's where it hits hit its head. Okay, now they'll take it out a few ticks, but then they roll over. That's what we call a rollover. Okay, when I get a phantom that corresponds with a good resistance area on a short, I'll take it. Now, this double bottomed. So therefore, this swing was not identified. This swing was identified. So could you have taken a quick 10 ticks long? Yes. Everybody sees that, right? Okay, because it, it broke the ABC, went above it. So could you actually go long on that trade? Yes. Okay, and a lot of people do. And, and that could have been one of these deals. It could have been just like 830, couldn't it? Breaking swings on the left. Absolutely. So if you're a gutsy trader, you could definitely have taken that trade even long here when it double bottomed and took out the swing even because you were definitely getting a, a low, a high, same low and a higher high. You can even take that trade there. That's what we did just a minute ago. Okay. But when I see a phantom that perfectly hits resistance like that right there and it confirms it like that, I'll take that trade in a heartbeat. We'll put our stop closer to break even okay uh the, the abcs I, i'll be happy to show that let me let me just go over it real quick the best way to see the abcs is to go get away from you've heard the old saying that you can't hardly see the trees for the forest you know so you got to kind of break it down to the individual trees that's what you're doing when you go to this little chart right here i already killed it so let's go to that chart again. We'll put a webinar chart on. Let it go ahead and load. Double bottoms are some traders' favorite trades as far as that goes, but you got to be careful because they can barely take out a, a bottom and then, you know, just head right up because that swing is not identified yet. Okay, let's let's draw this from up here. Let's see if we can tell. All right, so A B C type move, and then even breaks here. So this was actually your identified lightning on the left. It broke it. That's why we went long across here. Okay. Now, is this actually a trend change yet, based on the way we teach it? Well, if it was to come down here and kiss this area right here and then take off, you could definitely box this. If it bounced right there, I would probably take that trade long, okay? Or if it bounced off of here even, you know, just as long as you're actually holding a support area, would I actually box this trade in and very possibly take it long? 
because this could be a trend change, right? But on this chart, it's actually just a phantom. See there? Okay. So here's the thing on this. When it starts breaking your lightning on the left side of the chart, then they're trying their dead level best to change trends. Okay. They're trying their dead level best to change. That's why you can take the trade above this line right here for a quick 10 ticks because we did it just a few minutes ago. Okay. But is this trade actually heading down or up? Anybody? Draw your lightning three and you'll see it. Let me draw it from here. Is that an uptrend or a downtrend on lightning three? Now, remember, if you're not comfortable enough to take the lightning two type breaks like we did here a few minutes ago with a with a 12 tick quick hit, then don't trade this long until it takes this out for right now. Now, now pretty soon, see, this is actually showing now. This is a lightning three right here. So for this to change trends now, you would have to take this swing out. Let me show you here real quick. All right, so let's diagnose this chart in real time. You have a high, you have a low, you have a lower high, you don't have a lower low yet. But you do have a lightning three swing that's telling you that now that you have a high, a low, a lower high, and more than likely you're going to get that lower low. Okay? Because all it's doing is consolidating. Now, if this starts getting higher lows and, and starts stepping up, you could definitely take this trade long again. Okay? But be sure and watch your, your chart also. Because if you don't want this trade until it takes this out, lightning three. Let's just put it in white so we can all see it. All right, and then a then a pullback or a breakout, either way. Whoop, sorry about that. All right, now this is the way that I would be looking to trade this trade. We're short at Phantom, okay? But I'm also looking at this chart. If this decided to break this swing right across here, I'd probably take a breakout trade and put my stop nice and tight underneath a swing, a micro swing, not a big swing, but a micro swing. But it, it hasn't done that yet, right? So right now you're not getting this trade here, right? You're getting this trade here where it just pretty much kissed resistance and rolled over. Everybody see that? See where it kissed resistance on the left and rolled over? Okay, so let's see what it ended up doing. We'll just, no, I may be out of uh, data. No, I'm not. It's just going slow. I'm going 500 times. There we go. All right, so where would you put your stop on this trade right now? Aggressive stop, loose stop. A, B, C. All right, let's see if we get another one. Double bottoming. Aggressive stop, loose stop. Is it going to take it out? We'll find out. Kiss and roll. See there? Draw on your charts and you, you'll be amazed at how they do this all day long. Okay, what would it take for this uh, chart to change trends? Anybody? You're going to have to break a lightning three and get a like a green background to give an example and a mid band trade. Or you might even get, you know, something that doesn't break lightning three and you don't get a uh, trend change. OK, to me, for instance, right here, if you're really looking at the longer term, you're not looking to go long until you, until you take out that lightning three swing. Everybody see that? Now, what about this? Could that be a short right there? Rollover? 10 ticks probably. See the swing? Let's see what it does here. I got going five. There's another lightning three swing. Hasn't taken out the low yet. Bounced off of a double bottom. All 
Okay, if you were going to go long on this trade right here, if you're gutsy, you just simply go long if it breaks like here. And I'm not looking at colors right now. I'm looking at swings. Now, so far, we haven't broken that, have we? There's lightning three again. Okay, this is lightning. There you go. See there? See how amazing that is? Now, could you have gotten 10 ticks on that trade I just drew ahead of time? Yes. We looked at this trend instead of that trend. Okay. Now, what if this breaks this? Could it actually head back down? We'll find out. Kind of trying to break down, isn't it? See there, broke. Could you have boxed this? Let's see if it just kisses that area and then rolls. See, it's kissing my area, trying to roll. See what it does. There you go. Breaking down, isn't it? Let me see that drawn in real time. What did it do over here? It broke the ABC type move. You know, can you box that type of an area in? What what color was this background at that time? I don't know. Let's let's check it. I'm just talking about trading swings like I'm teaching this. Okay. Notice that that's still breaking down. Where would your stop be? Right there. Let me get rid of this one. Now I, I like to draw lightning one also, especially when it gets that that much. All right. So you have a ABC. There's your stop right across there. If it breaks, we'll bring our stop down. Let's go right there. Now, does everybody see that you can already tell what it would take to break this to the upside? What if that breaks later on and goes to the upside? Or what if you get a new higher low? Double bottoming right there. Be careful. Stopped. Everybody see that? Double bottom stopped. Where would this actually break very possibly to the upside? Well, if you're a conservative trader, if it breaks out right there, they're no longer heading down. Okay. But could you have actually boxed this right here even and taken a trade long if you're more of a gutsy trader and you said, you know what, if it breaks out, I'm going to take it. That's kind of like we do in the room first thing in the morning. Okay. Notice how it kissed resistance, right? Still rolling over so far. Now, what if it breaks this and decides to head up? Let's see if it did. I'm just curious. You are breaking like a double bottom. Let's see if it does. There you go. You're breaking. Kisses. See it kissing? Is this going to be a trend change? Yep. See there? Break and kiss. Just like just like we teach, higher low, it's going to head up some more. If it get, if it breaks this, it won't. Higher low, higher low. Still your stops right down here. Higher low. We'll just keep moving the line. Stopped. Everybody see that? Stopped out right there. Now let's look at the actual chart and see where our trade set up. If you took that trade that broke out, it came back and kissed. So you got him right there at 22 and a quarter. All right, you're stopped out right here at 26. So that's not a bad trade. It's not a great trade, but it's not a bad trade. It was a lot better down here, wasn't it? Okay. But let's see if this thing decides to do Let's see, we have an ABC. When I see that small like that, I see this as like an ABC. So if they come down in this area right here, 
or here. They've already kissed this though, see it? You gotta always look to the left to trade the right. If this thing would draw. All right, they've already checked this, so they're not gonna go that low. Everybody see that? So what you do on your chart, if you wanna take this trade long, is you're looking for a trade that's above this. So you're looking right in this area right here. You can't take that out if it's going to head up. Let's see what that looks like on our chart. Let's see if we drew it right. Higher lows and higher highs confirms an uptrend, right? And that's what we're getting so far on the left side of our chart with an ABC. So let's see what it looks like on the actual chart. And we're about ready to wrap. Hopefully I didn't lock up Ninja. Yeah, don't let this, uh, you know, confuse it all because what, I'm, there you go, see there? Is that actually a trade that you could have taken based on the way we teach? I drew the box by looking at the swings themselves. So could you actually take that trade? I'll take it even now if that bar closes up. Let's see if it does. Let's say I got up this time of the morning and I'm watching it. And if that bar closes up, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it anyway because it's up three ticks. Put my stop right underneath the swing. I'm risking 11 ticks. I'm going to add one more if it happens to close up. See if we can get up to that high. There's our second one. There's our swing, not identified just yet. There it's identified. Take one off if it happens to get up there to that top. And there you go. And ride your runner based on exactly what I was showing. And if you want to, look at the chart that's actually the, the little blackened chart, we can't, and I can't change it to a webinar chart, but I can show you where the swing is as it goes. It's right there. If it takes this top out, it's going to be right under here. But see, it's coming down. Now it's trying to bounce. Let's see if it does. Everybody see that? And if it takes this out, you could be done with the trade. See how it bounced off of it? And it took you out right there. Unless you, if you see that happening, you go back one more. But then you'll start giving away more of your profit too. Okay, this looks like it might bounce, but it might not. So we took it out right there, right? We're out because it broke our line. Okay. Now, what about the next trade? What would it take to actually take this trade down instead of up? Well, if it breaks lightning three, right? Or what about this swing right here? What if you said, you know what, if you break this right here, I'll take a quick short and it might go down to like a phantom. You don't know yet, but let, let's see if it does. And then we're going to wrap. If we get a lightning three, 2675, right? Now, if it broke this, you could be heading down, right? If you get a high, a low, a lower high, maybe it will. Not yet. Just broke it. I'm going to put my stop right across there. Lower high. Go to break even. All right. Cool way to trade, right, everyone? And see, this is actually looking at the chart as it's really happening. You had a high, you had a low, you had a lower high. When they broke that swing right there, were they heading up any longer? No. Okay. Now, does this mean we're going to break down? Not necessarily. What would it take to actually take this trade to the upside? Anybody? Well, right this very second, if it takes this out right here, which is support, now it's resistance, this could actually break to the upside instead. And even right here, that's a phantom trade. It just broke resistance, so I'm in. I'm going to put my stop just underneath here. 
and I'm going to add one if it bounces. Let's see if we can get it. And we may get stopped on that one. Ooh, that was close. I'm going to add one on a bar close. All right, there you go. You just got your trade. All right. That's the way you do this continually. Just look to the left to trade the right. If they barely take out a swing, you've got to really watch getting in long when they break that. Look to your left and do your A, B, C. And if they break that, they're heading up. See that? Let, let me draw that A, B, C, and then we're going to wrap. This was an A, a B, and a C, right? All right, when you barely break this one, that can be nothing but a lower high than this one to begin with. So if you see that ABC type move, then draw your line like right there. And when they break that, they are heading up. Everybody see that? Okay. Now notice that this was still a yellow mid band. So it was, it was actually screaming to head up. See there, you had a nice thrust retrace. So it was, it was just trying to check support. Okay. I hope this helped everyone. You know, the one thing about it, just like I said, though, it takes a while to learn this system for, for newer people. It's not something that you'll just catch overnight. You know, uh, do I see every trade on every chart? I see most every trade on every chart, but I don't necessarily take them. And if you wait too long, you're a deer in the headlights. But I, I can see the trades in the room. We, we call them out all the time. We literally called this trade in the room live this morning on this trade right here in real time, right across there. Could you take this trade when it did this ABC and it takes out this swing across here at the time anyway? Okay, and then at 8.30 they did this. And so you have a ABC. So there's a swing across there. Could you actually take that trade when it broke above that? Yeah, see, and it did it. And now, would you take more than one contract? Probably not, because this could have just as easily hit mid-band and rolled over and, and headed down too, because it was a downtrend. But at the open of the market, you know, watch these green stealths too. They'll, they'll tell the story a lot of times also. Okay, hope everybody enjoyed it. You can always tell, you know, where they're gonna break down just by simply drawing your lightning three on your charts. And you'll see time and time again where they'll break them, okay? And time and time again where they'll break them, you know, for instance, they break, they come back and kiss. See that kiss right there? Beautiful trades like that. All right. So if anybody has any questions on any of this, be sure and ask me in the, in the morning in the room and we'll go over some more as far as that goes. But if you just traded the gold trades that were called today and the ES trades and, and possibly even some of the oil, couldn't have helped being green. And we didn't trade every trade. We even said we weren't. Once you get green, the one thing about trading the open, if you can get this kind of a trade right here, right out of the gate and put your stop in, why do you have to trade again? You know, if you do trade again, then draw on your charts and say, okay, I got a high, I got a low, I broke micro. I'm going to go down and check medium swings. Medium swing didn't get taken out. So you box it in and you take it. Okay, and phantom type trades. Or you could have boxed this in literally like this too. You could have boxed a big old box like that right there. It was getting higher lows, it broke the box and off it went. Okay, thanks everybody for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll trade again tomorrow and uh, I'll get the webinar from Charles's uh, up just as quick as I get mine up. His is already rendered. Uh, but so they go up in the right order, I'll make sure that I put uh, his on first and then, then mine, and uh, we'll be seeing you in the morning. All right, there you go. David L. said it, it happened at 3 a.m. Eastern time this morning, and I saw the correlations and made a quick 500 bucks on ES. Yeah, and all you got to do is see on the chart, there's three trends on your chart that are really important to you. This one being the main one, Lightning 3, but you can still trade. Lightning one and two, as long as you don't take them before they break those ABCs. Because if they don't break the ABCs, they could just be getting a higher, you know, like a lower high on a short. 
if you break those ABC type moves, then they're probably heading, you know, back the other way. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Now, they don't necessarily go forever, though. They hit resistance and roll again. All right. Thanks. See you in the morning.